in order to show the advantages of multi-species probiotics over monostrain probiotics, we use a simplified example of reality in the following animation. Multi-species probiotics are preparations containing various probiotic strains from different genera and species, where monostrain probiotics contain just one probiotic strain. Let's find out how it works. I'll show you step by step what happens, where and when. In this healthy situation, the gut microbiota is well balanced. So pathogenic bacteria that can make you ill and cause nasty diarrhea will have very little chance to do any harm. The intestinal defense is active on three levels. The first level is inside the gut. The second level are the epithelium cells that form the gut wall. And the third level is the immune system. I will now explain these levels in more detail. In a healthy situation inside the gut, on level one, we find pathogenic inhibition. Pathogenic bacteria can hardly multiply due to the well-balanced gut microbiota. Also, in a healthy situation on level two in the gut wall, the epithelium cells that form the gut wall have effective working tight junctions. These tight junctions prevent bacteria from entering the body. And last but not least, level three, the immune system. In a healthy situation, healthy microbiota trigger the immune system to produce immunoglobulin A. These immunoglobulins have the power to neutralize pathogens. But according to Murphy's law, when something can go wrong, it will do so on three levels. Physical or emotional stress can cause imbalance of the microbiota. In such a worst case scenario, the intestinal defense system is working insufficiently on all three levels. On level one, inside the gut, pathogenic inhibition is absent due to the imbalanced microbiota. The pathogenic bacteria cheerfully multiply. On level two, the pathogenic bacteria travel freely through the junctions of the epithelium cells that form the gut wall right into your body where they can do a lot of harm. At the same time, on level three, the immune system is not triggered to produce immunoglobulin A, which means the pathogenic bacteria are not neutralized. I couldn't show this better than showing no movement at all in this part of the visual. In biology, almost every problem has a solution. And this story is all about biology. So let's start administering a monostrain probiotic. To be precise, a monostrain probiotic strong in inhibiting pathogens inside the intestine. Let's see what then happens on the three levels. On level one inside the gut, life gets hard for the pathogenic bacteria. Multiplying is almost impossible for them. However, administering a monostrain probiotic neither affects the free translocation of the pathogens through the junctions of the gut wall, nor does it make the intestinal defense system work appropriately by triggering the immune system to produce immunoglobulin A molecules. So there is no improvement on levels two and three. A solution to this problem might be to administer two probiotic strains one that is strong in inhibiting pathogens inside the intestine and a second one that is strong in enhancing the gut barrier. Of course the result is better because on level one inside the gut pathogenic inhibition makes it almost impossible for pathogenic bacteria to multiply and at the same time on level two the epithelium cells that form the gut wall tighten up the junctions again. No free translocation into the body anymore for pathogenic bacteria. Unfortunately on level three the immune system is still not triggered to produce immunoglobulin A molecules. Now you know exactly what measures have to be taken to get the whole problem solved. Of course, administering a multi-species probiotic, which is effective on all three levels. On level one, inside the gut, pathogenic inhibition creates heavy circumstances for pathogenic bacteria to multiply. On level two, epithelium cells that form the gut wall tighten up the junctions again. No free translocation for the pathogens and enhancement of the gut barrier. On level three, the immune system is triggered to produce immunoglobulin A molecules. And here's the good news. Administering a multi-species probiotic resolves a lot of trouble in the intestinal microbiota. The microbiota is well balanced again and on all levels, the intestinal defense system is restored. It's all about biology.